Good morning. Finally, I can have a walk-up music. It's a danger zone. <laughs> I ride my bike when I was a kid using this as background music in my mind for a long time. Finally, I can walk up on stage with that. So today, I mean, I really appreciate this opportunity to share our story with you guys. It's a great honor to be able to present and share our BAM story in front of a group of uh, uh, great leaders over here. <clears throat> um, I start from the... Before I start this uh, talk, I want to show you the topic. The topic is called Up Here. We benefit, of course, is from Top Gun 1. I don't know if you remember that. Viper actually said up there, we, pu we push it, it's our job. So in Grand Rapids, we benefit. It's even better. <laughs> so before I give a talk, like a, I want to ask you several questions. And I want you to start thinking about the answer in your mind. Where are the world's most advanced medical psychotron located in the United States or in the world? Yes. <laughs> and where are where is the world's most advanced radio pharmacy located? Hopkins, Harvard. Where is the world's most advanced molecular imaging center located? UCLA, Stanford. Where is the world's most uh, most uh, precise oncology center located? Germany. And uh, where does GE hold national psychotron engineer training in 2022? Oak Ridge, Tennessee? No, it's in Grand Rapids. All these things happen in Grand Rapids, and this is something is going to change the world, start from Grand Rapids. And this is what we have done in Banff Health for the past six years, from ground zero and to the world best of everything. And today, this is what, we are, what I want to share with you. It's the BAM story because I'm honored to be able to have a chance to work with a group of world bold leaders every single day, including the com inside our BAMF community and also the community partners over here. So I'd like to share this story with you. So number one, a lot of time I was being asked what BAMF stands for. BAMF, of course, stands for Bold Advanced Medical Future. I know somebody can actually find the different kind of meanings from Urban Dictionary. I don't mind you to think that way, but we stand for bold advanced medical future. But that's not it. Banff is actually a brand new lifestyle. We're here to use this company, use this mission to redefine the meaning of Banff. And Banff is actually start from extreme frustration. Six years ago, when I was uh, still staying in academia as a faculty, researcher, scientist, professor, life is easy, but I feel extremely frustrated because I know there are several uh, some technology I developed in my lab can really impact a patient's life, but uh, there's nothing I can do. The hard thing for me is not patient are dying every, every day, there's nothing I can do about it. The hard thing for me, and I think to a lot of the scientists, is a patient are dying every single day. We know there's something we can do, but there's nothing we can do. And this is not acceptable, acceptable, acceptable and that's what makes me want to make it a change. And, to start, to start this change, I, can, I actually have several beliefs. And these beliefs actually drive and rise, rose the whole band of health. Number one, I believe scientists' job is not stay in a lab to just publish papers and get promoted to, to tenure, tenure and uh, to grade the midterm exams. Number two, the life-saving technology should never be stay in a lab. And it should be accessible and affordable to the patients. And number three, life-saving te technology has, cannot only uh, available to the pe uh, people with the resource. With these beliefs, that's how I start BAM Health, and we're gonna make a change, we're gonna make things happen. And our mission is very simple. We wanna make the best technology. We create this world, world assess affordable to the patients as soon as possible. So let's talk about what we're trying to do and what's the problem we're trying to solve, why it is so hard, why people think it is impossible. We all know, like a, we have a, we all know cancer is a very big problem. Take prostate cancer, for example. We have 3 million prostate cancer patients living in the United States right now. And for the past 20, 30, 40 years, there's no significant improvement for both diagnosis and therapy for prostate cancer. We still, patients still follow the same path and have the same outcomes. 
Right now, we have the new technology allowed us to catch the cancer way earlier. We can, one scan, simple scan, can actually replace the current bone scan, MRI, and CT, can catch the tumor as small as two millimeter size, and also be able to stage the cancer uh, patient way correctly. And also, when you see these patients over here, all the red dots over here is actually cancer. It's end stage. There's no other way to treat it besides cancer or hormone therapy. We all know it's a devastating treatment. It causes a lot of side effects, and it's not even that effective. We have a way to be able to treat the cancer to make, make a patient achieve complete remission without causing any side effect. The, the, the technology is called molecular imaging and molecular targeted radiation therapy. Basically, we create a radioactive drones going into the patient's body, looking for prostate cancer, identify where they are, and also we send another drone carry, carry the bomb to burn all the tumor out without hurting surrounding tissues. And why this useful technology is not available to the people? It's because we don't have infrastructures. Number one, we, need to have, we have three million prostate cancer patients living in the United States right now. That means we need at least three million scans per year and treatment per year. And right now, the whole United States, for the past 40 years, we only achieve 1.8 million scans per year. These three million will be added up on the 1.8 million scans. Three million scans means we need three million doses, we need three million scans, and we need, we need a three million uh, uh, readings from the radiologist. The best technology right now can manage 14 doses a day, and there's only four places in the United States that can do that. And uh, the best scanner right now can do about 14 patients a day. And uh, right now, each scan actually takes the radiologist 40 minutes to, to read and to analyze. So obviously, this is not sustainable, even this is such, use, such useful technology. So we don't think this is right. We think we're gonna make a change and we're gonna fix the whole problem. In order to fix the whole problem, we need to actually make the, build a brand new infrastructures. First, we're going to make it a, ch totally change the manufacture of the radio pharmacy. Radio pharmacy. We're gonna make it way more efficient and way more productive from the production line. We're gonna significantly improve, improve the throughput of the imaging centers, allow us to be able to scan and treat patients more efficiently. And we're going to to, uh, totally get it. We'll never be able to train enough radiologists uh, to analyze this kind of amount of data. So we need to develop AI technology to do that. And that's what Banff Health is all about. And that's why everybody thinks we're crazy. Four years ago, we said we we're going to build uh, the world's most advanced radio pharmacy in downtown Grand Rapids. Nobody believed that. We're going to bring two cyclotrons in downtown Grand Rapids. Nobody believed it. We're going to bring the world's most advanced scanner, 40 times more sensitive to downtown Grand Rapids, nobody, great, nobody believed that. You will never get an NRC approval because NRC, Nuclear Re uh, Regulatory Commission, don't like to see the things they've never seen before and operate by a group people never heard before. And also, I mean, uh, you cannot pass a law to allow the you to bring those kind of scanners into Grand Rapids. On top of that, the MSU has never done a public-private partnership uh, to enable a building. So you will never be able to make it happen. Good luck for that. And in the name of Beer City USA, you say, hold my beer, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what we're doing. People usually confuse about two things. Things are impossible and the things are very, very hard. As long as the things are not impossible, our job is actually find a way, find the people, and make things happen. And that's exactly what BAMF did. So, in order to do it, we need to have some method. We start thinking about if, if there's any group in the world actually designed and trying to do these kind of things, people think impossible. Spe special force pop out. So we say, yeah, there's something we can learn about it. So we integrate a lot of special force tactics and also the culture and the mindset into our BAMF health. Here are something I want to share with you. Number one, in order to do big, big, hard things, we have to have a team concept. There's no personal hero in our team. So we build a team who's, who are trusted with each other, respect each other, support each other, and everybody have a quantum status exists in, into them. They both are team leaders and both are team team members. For any time when you have a project you need to lead, and uh, even the people on the paper, on the, on the, on the structure, hierarchy is higher than you, to follow your lead to actually lead the project. And then we encourage every team members to become a leader. 
So there's a principle and like we, uh, we share with our team members to talk about how are you going to make decision. Do the right thing efficiently, simple as that. But the key issue is what is the right thing? The right thing is you ha it's not the things you think is right, it's you need to think about big pictures from a team's perspective. After you look at the big pictures, you still think that's the right things to do, then the next thing is go ahead, do it, and do it efficiently. Then how to do that, do things efficiently. Speed is very important to us. Another principle we have is pursue excellence, not perfection. And so once we can start to uh, pursue excellence, we don't know it's not perfect yet, and there's a lot of room to improve. We don't want you to give 120%, we don't want to give you 200%, we only want you to give 101%. Improve 1% every single day a year later, you're 37 times bigger, 3,700% bigger. That's what we are standing for. There's always room to improve and make this model very sustainable. I keep press the wrong button. And because we're, we're actually moving really, really fast, so we have a very unique way to communicate. We want the, our BAMF communicate, the BAMF way to communicate, it, co communicate is be proactive. We're not waiting until I really, really need to talk to you or people start feel confused, then I'm start talking to you. If I think the other department or the other person need to know about the progress of this field, I will be proactively just go ahead and talk to you and talk to you efficiently. And because we have a trust and respect to each other, so we can be very candid to each other, we don't want it to be nice and without just trying to be nice but still leave the problem over there. So every of our discussion will be very, very candid but respectful. And we want a very efficient discussion. BAM House uh, composed by people come from like 11 countries and including Republic of Texas. And <clears throat> And uh, we always have uh, uh, people with PhDs in chemistry, particle physics, medicine, radiation oncology, engineer, architect, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody can easily speak a language that nobody can understand. But uh, over here, we're trying to solve the problem. We're not to show how many turns we know, how smart we are. So efficient discussion is the critical important to us. And also listen. Listen is a critical in our communication method. We're here to listen to understand, not just listen to respond. And the next thing is, we are trying to do the things nobody has done before. And then uh, making mistake is inevitable. So if it's inevitable, we need to think about making mistake counts and how to make efficient mistakes, how to make bent mistakes. There are several principles over here. Number one, don't make stupid mistakes. Always, make, always think before you move. And number two, always learn from your mistake. Think why after you're carefully thinking, you still making them that mistakes. And the third, make sure you never make the same mistake again. And then with these three principles, we encourage all the bank members make as many mistakes as possible, as fast as possible. That's how we can move forward and how we can advance the technology, how we can serve the patients better. In BAMP Health, we hold people accountable. But there's a concept over here is very, very different between hold people accountable and the punish people. I mean, you, we hold people accountable, we want people to stand behind their mistakes, we want people to st stand behind their position. But it doesn't mean we need to punish you. And that's very, very big, uh, big difference that we want to clarify over here. So using this kind of principle, let's see what we have achieved. Number one, we can never build, use a 3P model, build a, build a, a building in downtown Grand Rapids. We turn this grassland into Doug Meyer Medical Innovation Building. And this building right now is literally world, hold of world most advanced med, uh, radio pharmacy, molecular imaging clinic, and theranostic clinic, and Banff Health Headquarters is located over here. We really appreciate all the partners help us to achieve this over here. And let's look at the milestone over here. Last June, we delivered two world most advanced cyclotrons over here. We set several world records over here. In short three months, people said we cannot get NRC approval because NRC never seen this kind of brand new radio pharmacy before. They just don't like it. We passed it at the first, first walkthrough, and we actually shoot the like fire cyclotron just within short three months after it had been delivered. And within four months, we're making the very first clinical grade uh, radio, uh, radioactive drugs. 
in, the, in that radio pharmacy, and that's the history is made in Grand Rapids. And in six months after the cyclotron delivered, we collect a 200,000 data points to submit all the approval for FDA. But this year, just three, three weeks ago, we achieved the very, very big milestone for the whole human history. We actually successfully produced the very first batch, world first, solid target produced gallium 68. This is English, sounds foreign to you guys. Let me explain how important it is. Gallium 68 is a very powerful and promising isotopes. Everybody knows this is gonna be very, very useful, but the, the but manufacturer is the problem. Like what I said, but we need a three million dose. The best place can only manufacture 14 dose a day. And uh, so three years ago, we make a bold decision. We designed a whole radio pharmacy to un, uh, for to produce solid target, solid target gallium 68. The technology is not there, but we say we're gonna go, go in to figure it out. And then three years later, we become a gal we, we success make the first batch. And the, the, just give you the scale difference, 15 minutes of productions, we make more gallium 68 than the whole United States combined. It happened in Grand Rapids. And then, <clears throat> remember, we can run that cycle trunk all day long, and we have two cycle trunks over here. So we can easily manufacture 2,000 to 10,000 doses a day, and the, the meaning of this kind of milestone is literally tell the whole world, the human beings really get into the era, gallium 66 is available, and we can really change the page of the human medicine. This milestone is similar to the time the Ford make it a Model T, really make it a vehicle available, totally change the, the, the transportation of human medicine. And this is a, such a big deal, so I want to show, show off our team members and look at the astronaut, and uh, they know how to point. And on top of that, uh, last year, people said we they had never passed the law to actually allow us to bring the world most advanced scanners into Michigan because we have law of CON. We spend a lot of time to communicate with our community partners and also legislators. And finally, we get a, a bipartisan support to make these things happen. So we, last June, we passed the passed law, um, uh, governor signed it, and then this year, just two months ago, we bring in world most advanced, very first Stargate spec CT, and most importantly, on May 9th, we bring the very first clinical use total body pad to the Grand Rapids. This total body pad is the most advanced scanner ever been built in, for mankind. It's 40 times more sensitive than any other pad scanner on Earth, we can significantly decrease the radiation dose for the patients. We can shorten 40 minutes of scan time to one minute. And this scanner will actually make the pediatric application possible. And that's the part, that's the things we're going to work so diligently with our community partners to actually start applying. Grand Rapids is going to lead this field, period. Our AI team, after three or four years of building, we attended the world most advanced uh, competition last year in medical imaging field. We won an award and we published the very first paper. Start from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Look at the, the, the cosine over there. And that's make us very, very, very proud. So the most important part is six years ago, we say this is the future of the medicine. We say this is the, it's going to save a lot of lives. Nobody believe us, people think it's impossible. After six years of effort, going to Germany, do a lot of clinical trials, keep communicating with the different kind of partners, conduct the clinical trials. March 23, two months ago, FDA approved this kind of treatment. The result is the things people never seen before. To the worst prostate cancer patient you can have, we, it's 80% better than the best drug we have right now. If we can apply to other, uh, the, the patient in the earlier phase, we are gonna see the great, great result. Right now, we have a three million patients to take care. Who is ready to take care of these patients here in the United States? Grand Rapids. We are the only place on earth to get ready to digest and help the, serve these kind of patients. And that's the things that make me really, really proud of our city over here. So I wanna end with uh, this group of photos over here, this is the day we delivered the total body pad. And I just want to share with you, Banff is not 
is not a only belong to Banff Health. Banff is a mindset. Banff start from Grand Rapids. Banff, this mindset belongs to Grand Rapids. Banff is a mindset. It's a group of people willing to roll their sleeves, go to the field, get themselves dirty, take the heat, and make big, hard things happen. We are, we're a group of people trying to do the hard things, trying to do the right things, to doing the things, get things need to be done, done, and also trying to have the great heart in the, in the mind. That's the spirit of BAM Helps. We know there, we don't know a lot of things, a lot of hard things, a lot of new things. We don't know how to do it, but the mindset of us is we'll figure it out because this is too important. And also because we know the consequence, what if we don't get it, things done? People say, why you going to challenge all these kind of things? I mean, do you know how to do it? I don't, have, I don't know where to find the money when I started. I don't know how to build these kind of things when I started. I don't know where to find people. But I do know if I don't do this, we're going to lose millions of lives who should have been lost. So take a, take a look, look at these pictures. This is why I drive us every single day. Every single patient over here is currently considered untreatable uh, in the United States. And this is the majority of patients, the patient we treat in Germany using this method. Not only we give them great quality of life, significantly extend their lives, we make them achieve complete remission. These are, these are not just patients. These are people's daughter, uh, people's uh, father, people's son, people's friend, people's grandpa. OR here is trying to make these things available, accessible to the patients, enable patients to become people again so they can enjoy more happy birthday, more, more happy holidays with their loved ones. And in order to do this, we, are, we have to hold this kind of BAMF concept. We should not keep ask, tell ourselves why things cannot be done. We should, keep change our, we should change our mindset to how, we, how are we going to get things done. People, the most common question I got when people learn about our company is why Grand Rapids? I hate it. What we should ask as a community leader, we should start changing our minds, keep asking the question, why not Grand Rapids? We have a great community here, we have great community resource, we have great people, we have great heart. Grand Rapids is the place can make world-class things happen. Banff Health just proved that, and there are so many companies in this room constantly prove those kind of things. Our job as a community leader over here is trying to bring the Grand Rapids to the world and also allow the world to see Grand Rapids. So we can, we're here can make the grand and the rapid impact and uh, because we're Grand Rapids over here. So this is my talk over here, and uh, fasten your seat belt. It's time to buzz the tower. <laughs> Thank you.